Fluorescence photography offers underwater photographers a unique way to capture images by using specific light wavelengths. Commonly, underwater subjects absorb blue or ultraviolet light and emit colors like orange, yellow, and green. So it allows for new and interesting images, especially in night dives in some diving sites, such as in the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, Philippines, Red Sea, Egypt, etc. This way, expect for the camera, macro lens, recommended as the first choice. In underwater housing, we also need underwater video dive light with UV, blue, or red color beams. To discover the magic of underwater fluorescence photography, you need to use UV, red, blue lights, or other color beams. This technique reveals the vibrant glow of marine life. Orca Torch D530V Blue Video Dive Light can help you enhance the fluorescence effect of certain marine organisms, ideal for capturing fluorescent corals. Working with a yellow filter is crucial for maximizing coral fluorescence and reducing blue light which can help you enhance your shots and get stunning results. Designed with three color beams and a torch, the red beams of D710V and D900V can reduce disturbance to underwater creatures, making them suitable for night shooting, allowing better observation without startling them. For UV beams, captured directly for use on certain coral, fish, and other organisms that emit a fluorescent glow in response to stimulation, by the ultraviolet wavelength, especially for 395 nanometers. White beams can help improve the contrast of images, making the fluorescent parts more prominent. This is crucial for capturing the details and colors of underwater life. If you are looking for a single color underwater photography light, D530V slash D530 would be a good choice. We provide multiple options such as blue light, UV light, red light, etc. Always keep an eye out for unique and exceptional marine life while filming. Fluorescence underwater photography is an interesting photography. But yes, shooting it is sort of more technical stuff is because you're dealing with this emitted light. You need a lot of light to excite fluorescence. Besides, best done in low ambient light, often at night for tropical reefs, but can also be effective during the day in darker waters. So you need also need to use multiple strobes or powerful continuous lights is recommended to provide adequate excitation light. While fluorescence photography can be a niche interest, but yes, it provides unique opportunities for creativity in underwater imaging. Special beauty crates, stunning results.